Hey guys, it's me, Gloria. How are we doing today? Okay, in today's video, I'm using these two cartridges from the Cricut, and I'm using Life's a Beach and Teddy Bear Parade. And then I also used a title from my silhouette so it can all coordinate together. Um, Life's a Beach has some really cute, cute cuts in it, but my all-time favorite is the Teddy Bear Parade. If you guys don't have this cartridge, you need to invest your money in it. Find a way how you can get it much cheaper. Oh my god, it is so cute. It just got so many different cuts on it, so many outfits. I mean, you cannot go wrong. And if you got the Peachy King stamps, it's even better. It makes life so much better for the teddy bears. It brings it out to life. Okay, so let's get started. My card is going to be an A2 size. And it's going to be this white card stock. So... This is four and a quarter by 11, and I'm going to score it at five and a half. So I hope you guys are having a really good weekend. I'm doing all right. Uh, yesterday, I ended up putting up a video of, of a handbag purse, and oh my God, I'm like, fell in love with it. And I have bought that uh, file that comes with four to five handbags or three to four, something like that. And I was really hesitant of making them because I'm like, oh my God, I'm not even going to try it because it ain't going to come out right. But Mel, she did one and they were adorable. And I says, you know, let me try my hand on it. And it came out awesome. Okay, so there goes my card base. So now I'm going to decorate the inside of the card. Now for the inside, I have this blue pattern paper, which is 4 by 5 And then I have this paper, which is 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter, I think. 4 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter. And then what I did, I used my Tim Holtz Tea Dye Distress and I kind of inked the edges. So I'm just going to adhere both of these together. And this is going to be a beachy kind of scene card, and I thought it would like be perfect, especially for the the cut that I got from the peachy cane. I mean, from the oh, I can't even talk from the teddy bear parade. I'm trying to find my distress tool from Tim Holtz. I just want to kind of distress the edges just a little bit to kind of give it out. You know, just a little bit. And, you know, you don't need to get this. You can use scissors and just uh, rub, rub around the paper because that's exactly what that is if you ask me. Okay. So now I'm just going to adhere this and I'm going to try to place this right in the middle. Okay, just like that. Then I have this small little trim that I cut off of here, and I just want to put it in the middle here. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm going to use my... quick dry because that's the closest thing I had to me Okay, and then I'm going to adhere this straight down on the card base. But yeah, guys, last night in my neighborhood, there was still blowing out fireworks. It was so loud. You couldn't sleep. I mean, it was horrible. But hopefully tonight they let us sleep a little bit. do that I kind of glued it on here and my quick dry was not I didn't put too much on there
that looks much better. My white one looks like it's way off. Maybe if I put my cardstock straight, it probably look straight. Okay, that looks much better. And now I got to put a little bit more glue on the strip because me taking my little sweet time, it dried up. So there it goes. Now for the inside of my sentiment, I'm going to use my Scrappy Mom stamp set, Bare Necessities, and I'm going to use Keep Calm and Cuddle On. Because this sentiment that I'm using is sort of like a relaxed sentiment. So you got to keep calm, which that's what summertime's all about. You know, enjoy the summer while it lasts. Put those two things away and move my scissors. Get my stamp press. Okay, and I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink if I can find it, and I found it. And now I'm just going to ink it really good. And I think it would look perfect right there. Excellent. Keep calm and cuddle on. How cute is that? Okay, so now let's start doing the outside, which the inside kind of took a little bit too long, but, you know, that's all right. Now, what I ended up doing was cu uh, cutting out some water waves, and I ended up using my Tidal Wave from EK Success. And I have one going one way, one going the other way. Now, in order for you to do that, you'll punch one one way, right? Just like this, and it's going that way. And then, for you to get the wave the other way, you turn the paper around and you put it in backwards, and you stamp, you punch it out. And that's how you get two waves that are going against each other. Okay. And for that, let me use. I'm gonna use some score tape for that. Because sometimes glue just don't adhere to this type of paper. Okay. Now I had so much fun yesterday with my husband because I was making the purse card and he was underneath the craft table, you know, with a feather. I guess it was a feather or something really, really soft. And he was touching my leg and I kept on swiping it away like if something was crawling on me. And then I found that it was him because he was he couldn't stop giggling. It was so funny. 
Okay, so now that I got that, I'm going to glue these two together. Just like that. And then I have a sand, that a sand mound that I made, and I'm going to adhere that also. And in order for me to do that, I'm going to use the score tape also. And then I think I'm going to use a little piece also on the top to kind of hold it in. I'm going to take them off. And I'm going to make sure none of the glue is sticking out. Then I think I'm going to add just a little bit more piece over here. To make sure that it stays. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this down to my water wave. Just like that. I might need to move it over some. just like that so now I'm gonna adhere this to my card base and let me get my ATG So now I'm going to glue this down. And this is going to be my sand. And my water background. It's going to look just like that. Oh, I did something wrong. I knew it, I knew it. I'm ahead of myself. I'm way, way, way ahead of myself, and I might need to have to get another piece of cardstock because I really messed this one up. I'm sorry, guys. It happens from time to time. Well, it always happens to me. I don't know about anybody else. But, you know, as you go along, you make a mistake. And sometimes your mistakes don't look too appealing. Okay, I have another piece of cardstock. So let me just bring it out. So I score it at five and a half.
Okay, and I just got to add some more ATG to this side. And what I forgot to do was to put my sky background down. I was ahead of myself. That looks good just like that okay so let's start doing the front so I got this blue sky background and I'm gonna hear it right there and this background is four and a quarter by five and a half is the same size as the card base Just like that and I'm over just overhang just a little bit so let me kind of trim it off okay that looks good okay and now I'm gonna I cut out these uh, clouds with my medium cloud punch and it's right here and I'm just going to adhere them down in different spots. And I cut them out of glitter. I'm almost done putting the clouds down. And just one more. Just like that. Okay, now on um now I'm going to lay my water down. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now I end up cutting out a piece of grass off of my silhouette. And I cut this out at half an inch. Excuse me. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off the access of the grass because... a little bit too 
Okay, and I'll be right back. Just give me one second. I just had to go and grab me a water. Okay, now I end up cutting out a sun for my silhouette, and it came with the sentiment. So this is the sun with the shades, and then my sentiment is going to see, got to wear shades. So now I'm just going to adhere the sun right down, just like that. And I thought this sun was so cute. Okay, just like that. Just got to hold them down just a second because it's um, per paralyzed, paralyzed uh, cardstock that I'm using for the sun. Okay, now for my sentiment, it's got to wear shades and I'm just going to leave it right there but I don't know if I should pop this up I might pop this up but before I do that I end up cutting out this uh, palm tree out of the travel uh, the travel cartridge and I don't have the creating memories uh, travel cartridge but I had a girlfriend that has it and she ended up giving me a couple of cuts that I looked through the book and this was one of them. And I just had this in my stash. Okay. And this palm tree is cute. So there goes my palm tree. Now, I cut this beach chair out of the Life's a Beach cartridge and I got it on some foam dots. So I'm going to pop this chair up right in front of the palm tree. like right there okay and then I have this little tiny swirly thing swirly thing a swirl with stars that come with this with the sentiment and I'm just gonna adhere it on the other side And I'm going to throw it right around here. Just like that. Okay, and then the next, I'm going to pop up my little saying. So let me get some foam dots. gonna go popped up right there okay so now I'm gonna take the tape off of this
Okay, now for the main event, of course, is my little cute teddy bear. So here he goes. I end up putting some glasses on him, you know, because it says gotta wear shades. And I thought he had a little coconut drink in his hand. That would be cool. And this is the tourisman out of the teddy bear parade cartridge. And I thought it was so stinking cute, especially with the saying gotta have sh gotta wear shades so i got him on two thicknesses of foam tape and i'm just gonna pop them up right here just like that and that's gonna be the end of my card guys and i end up using some uh glossy accents for his shirt collar his camera and his glasses just the black part of his glasses And there you go. Well, there goes my card for today, guys. I hope you like it and enjoy it. And guys, I'm sorry. Sometimes my card videos become so long. But you know, sometimes it happens like that when we when we creating. And if you ain't never created a card, try one. And I guarantee you, if you record it, it's gonna be 30. 40, maybe 50 minutes long, depending on what you're doing. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. Now you have a wonderful Sunday. Bye now. And the inside says, keep calm and cuddle on. Bye now.